So as many of you know, India is a very important part of my life. When my sister Maya and I were growing up, our mother would take us from the Bay Area to India pretty much every other year. And the purpose of those trips were many, including that we would well understand where she came from, what produced her, so that we could spend time with our grandparents, with my uncle and our chitis, and to really understand the love of good idli. <laughs> You see, by the time that we were going there as children, my grandfather was retired from his career as a civil servant. And his morning routine, every morning, consisted of taking long walks on the beach with his retired buddies. And they, as retired civil servants, would debate the issues of the day. So I would hold my grandfather's hand on these walks and listen intently to him and his friends. And I will tell you, as a young girl, I don't think I fully appreciated the essence and the import of the debates that they would have. But I did clearly understand and do recall stories about the freedom fighters and the nation's founding heroes and about the independence of India. I remember them talking about the importance of fighting corruption and fighting for equality, regardless of one's belief or caste. Throughout these walks, I recall my grandfather teaching me lessons about not just what it means to have a democracy, but to keep a democracy. And I do believe it is these lessons that I learned at a very young age that first inspired my interest in public service. And I look back now, and I do fully realize how much these conversations influenced me and my thinking, and how they have guided me ever since. In fact, it is a large part of who I am today. These lessons I learned from my grandfather, P. V. Gopalan, and from the dedication, determination, and courage of his daughter, my mother, Shamala. And it is that being the reason that I stand before you today as Vice President of the United States.